Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. You may have seen in the unboxing, un opening mailbag video, whatever you want to call it, that I've got one of these component testers. So now I'm quite keen to see what it can do. And uh, just checking all of that, that seems all good. Uh, these are going to be particularly useful for me, I think, for just testing kits, and it looks like it would benefit from being put in an enclosure at some point. It, uh, on the back, let's have a look, see what we can see, how it's all working. Atmel, it's an Atmel Mega 328 chip with an 8 megahertz crystal there. Not much else, just the sort of glue for driving it. 7805 regulator for the power, and can't quite see what's going on but it's just wired up to this ZIF socket and this sort of static piece of test area on the PCB. Now you can see that the unit itself has these numbers on the ZIF so you have one two three one 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 and down here you have one two three two. So what these are, these are referencing the numbers of the actual component. I'm going to give you an example of that in a moment. And I just want to just test something real quick while we're here. I just want to see if they're basically you can hear this at we continuity just to see if these are wired straight through. Yes, they are. Good. That's fine. That lets me test it now. So what we're going to do though, we're just going to get a battery, which is a normal nine volt battery and plug it in. So that's it now. Nine volt battery. Ooh, VBAT. <laughs> That's not a very good 9 volt battery though, it's barely 9 volt. So let's see if we can find some parts lying around on my bench. And here is an LED. So I'm just going to pop that in between 1 and 2. Now apparently it doesn't matter if you put it between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 1. Bang! Testing. Still thinking about it? Still thinking about it? There you go, look, it's saying it's a diode with a, um, oh, what's that mean? Forward voltage drop, 1.83 volts, and a bit of capacitance there. And it's saying, look, it's between 1 and 2, and it's going to be saying 2. Pin 2 is the positive leg, isn't it, if it's long leg? And it is, long leg positive. The board never lies. Um, yes, excellent. So that's the first component. Now let's see if we got, I'm just, I'm like literally standing in front of the uh, my shelf of random stuff just seeing what I've got sitting here. Now here's uh, one of my normal bugbears which is a resistor and I because I can never remember anything. So I'm going to put it between two here and I think the camera really, the camera's getting confused by the shininess of this screen and then just one of these random pins here that says one. There we go, that's clamped in nicely, bang, let's go. And yep, the screen actually does glow, it is illuminated. That's an easy one, it's saying it's a 4.7K resistor. That's, and that was really quick, wasn't it? It can determine a resistor pretty bloody quickly. It's happy about that. What else can we find? I'm trying to think what components you might have at home that would be giving you some difficulty. Actually, let's, let's get this out. This is just a box of some random old stuff. Um, random in that it's also maybe a bit difficult for me to confirm because I don't know what some of these things are myself but look these are these are some electrolytics there let's just chuck an electrolytic oh, get out right pop that between a couple of the legs yeah I've actually managed to put it between one and one that's kind of what you want to do but there you go let's go bang electrolytic capacitor test me test me oh it doesn't like that one it could be though, to be honest, let me just make sure that these are, some of these old parts you see, they've got so, you know, all sorts of glues and crap on them. They might not register, try it again. Come on M tester, you can do it. Oh, there we go. And it's saying it's a 33 microfarad capacitor. And I'm just gonna look here. 33 microfarad capacitor, yes. Amazing, that's pretty bloody good. I'm impressed with that one. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, ooh, this is a tricky boy. Look, this is a tip 121 Darlington transistor, and we're going to pop that straight in on one, two, and three. Now, the price of this, by the way, I think it was about seven quid. Look at that bang right away, it's got that, and it's coming up as a, a PNP. Mm, 
I don't know, no, I'm pretty sure the tip 121s are more or less simulating an MPN, but I will have to double check that. But let's, I'm going to turn it around the other way. Let's just see if it, give it another go. Hang on. <laughs> it's NPN now. Does it really matter which way round you put it? That is the question. <laughs> it sort of does. Hmm. Beware of that. That's an interesting one. I have to really look up now scientifically the difference between an NPN and PMP and if that should be doing that. Um, okay. What's this thing here? This is another tip 121. Let's try this. It's from a different manufacturer. Let's see if it gives us the same sort of things. I didn't I didn't sort of med check the readings by the way, but I just want to see if it does the strange NPN PNP when you rotate it. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know about that. Interesting. Anything else in our box of Murph? What's this one? This is a 2N3904, whatever a 2N3904 is. Maybe this can tell me. Clamp that in, go. It's telling me that's a sort of general NPN, but now let's turn it this way. Because this one isn't, I think, a Darlington pair, it might give us a better. I'd like to see it say NPN now, actually, to be honest with you. Yes, NPN both ways. Phew! So if you've got any concern, try doing the old flipperoo and then see what that does. I'd, I'd quite like to see if I've got any voltage regulators. Uh, oh, I do have something here. What's this guy? This is a 78, uh, 78S12CV. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I think it might be a 12 volt regulator. Testing. No, I don't like that one. Let's try another game this way around. Testing, testing. Nope, he doesn't like that one either. Right, well, we've, we've reached the limit. I don't know what that one is either myself, so I'm going to let it off. I'm just looking now. I've got a uh, big box of random components to see what kind of surface mount components we might have. And uh, the one thing I think I probably am missing that would have been quite useful to test would have been a surface mount voltage regulator. Um, no, I don't think I have one. That's really annoying. But <laughs> if you can see here, I don't think there's any rocket science involved in its testing because you're just going to put it on this part here, which will require you to hold it. I just want to see to determine how good the human finger holding it down. I'll just sort of undo another component here. Let's get this out of the box while you're messing around. In fact, I can show you with this. So. Pretend this is a surface mount component, even a resistor or something. You're basically going to hold it between the different things. And this is a diode, of course, just a standard kind of bog standard diode. Also, my finger, though, I don't know. There we go. So that's pretty good. Big old standard diode right there. Uh, in fact, does it say anything on it? It does. It's a tool. Uh, national 4007 a 4007 I think mean, that's pretty standard a component so I am very pleased with that I think that is a marvelous a marvelous gadget for the money I don't think you can go far wrong if you're building kits definitely get one and if you um, if you basically want to um, put an enclosure around it you know make an enclosure I think you could make this into a nice little you know gadget in a box really I think that would be quite nice not sure about this bit though that's kind of harder to enclose maybe you'd want to make a little PCB and bring that out somewhere to be a surface mount contact with a bit of copper tape or something but yeah very cool go out and get one please leave comments down below like share subscribe if you're that way inclined and as ever thank you for watching unknown unknown